Hey guys, what's up? It's time for the first ever user submitted loadout video for Battlefront. So basically, uh, one of you guys, the subscribers, requested a video with a certain loadout. And this loadout happens to be the Greedo loadout. Now the Greedo loadout has a scout pistol, the DT-12, the scan pulse, and a dioxys grenade. Obviously that's the closest thing to Greedo's hero abilities and stuff, so basically that's what we use. Oh, and uh, don't forget the sharpshooter trait is what I have. Right now I'm using the, uh, I was using the DL-44, uh, but I switched to the DT-12 uh, right here, so it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Um, basically, this loadout supports a very fast and aggressive playstyle, basically just like Greedo. Uh, the Scout Pistol and Dioxys work really well, especially in close quarters indoor uh, areas just like on Hoth and the hallways. So the Dioxys can get a shit ton of kills when you're in those hallways just throwing it down there. And then the Scan Pulse also helps you see exactly how many enemies are there. So basically the way I tried to use this loadout is I would use the Scan Pulse and see how many were there around and I would toss a Dioxys in the hallway uh, depending on how many were there. And then I would Scout Pistol individual soldiers because it's a quick kill and it does a lot of damage even if it doesn't get the kill. The DT-12 is a great uh, fast shooting gun that does still a good steady amount of damage. And the sharpshooter trait helps you do more damage when you aim down sight. So basically, these uh, all these star cards and everything work really well together with this loadout. I was actually very impressed with how well this loadout worked. Uh, me personally, my normal loadout, I focus more on defense and self-healing. The only problem with this loadout is that obviously you don't have any self-heal. So you do have to be careful in an open area or any of those uh, when you're low on health. It is easier to die with this loadout. So... Other than that, though, it's a great loadout. I had fun playing with it, and I think it's really good for really fast and aggressive players, uh, especially on the indoor part of the map, like I said, because that Dioxys really is only useful on the indoor choke points. It can create really, really good choke points, but outdoors, it's almost effectively useless because people can just run out of it and be perfectly fine. It doesn't kill or do enough damage um, in a short period of time, so you really have to use it on those choke points where it's harder for people to just run away from it. There were definitely a couple of times where uh, I got a crap ton of points and kills, as you saw earlier, and uh, a couple times on the Rebel side as well, where uh, I just got a lot of points. This this loadout definitely racks points because you get points uh, as the Dioxys goes off. See right there? You get a ton of points as the Dioxys goes off. So uh, I definitely racked up points with this loadout. Uh, I was in first place on the Imperial side, um, and on the Rebel side I placed third or fourth because we got into the more open areas uh, later in the match. But um, I racked up a ton of kills with the Dioxys. It's definitely the biggest strength of this loadout, in my opinion, is the Dioxys grenade. So uh, definitely keep that in mind with this loadout, is that uh, the Dioxys is going to be your biggest point racker and uh, kill getter. Especially because people tend to walk right into the Dioxys nowadays, which is which is weird. Like I said before, I think the biggest disadvantage with this loadout is going to be your lack of self-heal and the lack of a jump back. So basically, it's it's an all offensive loadout, and it's really really good for the aggressive style of players. Not so much uh, for the defensive style, or those of you who want to make sure you get the hero token, or those of you who like to make sure you have an extra heal or two. Also, not good on the open area. So, but I definitely like the loadout for these indoor ones. It worked really great with me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would work really great with most of you, but if you want that hero token, this might not be the loadout for you. Well, that's it for this subscriber loadout. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and remember to check out the other stuff right here on the screen. I reviewed Rogue One and Rebels Recap on Visions and Voices, and I'll see you guys later.